Hi everyone, I am Mohit and you're watching ATM All Things Mohit. Today I have with me the must-have accessory for the iPad Pro. Yes, you guessed it right, it's the magic keyboard. Well, when I think of a computer, I still think of using it with keyboards. And if you have seen my previous unboxing video, you know I'm going to be using my new iPad Pro as my primary computer. So I had to get the magic keyboard. I got this from Costco. It was having it for $10 off. Usually the magic keyboard comes for $350. Bucks, but Costco was having it for $10 off on the very first day. Uh, so I just grabbed it. It had good deals on the iPad models as well. Almost the entire range of the new iPads was for $1.50 off and it got sold out in a couple of days. So in case you're in the market for a new iPad or the Magic Keyboard, I would suggest you check it out. So let's get to it. I'm excited to unbox it. Uh, it's an easy peel off sticker, just like all the other products Happy comes out with. And the box in itself, as you have seen with my other reviews, uh, it's a nice packaging, plain and simple. Let me open it. That's always a bit of a struggle, but not this time. And we get right to it. Uh, it has the magic keyboard. Well, on first impression, it does have a bit of a weight, so it will add to the weight of the iPad that I have, but it's not that bad. Uh, let's see what else is in the box. Uh, actually, nothing. So it's just this piece. Uh, let's peel this off and see if there's anything else inside. And I'll uh, it has the Apple logo on the back, uh, kind of embossed, so it doesn't usually stand out. But yes, if you see closely, you should be able to make it out. And let's see what's there on the inside. Uh, there is some padding on the inside, so I'll keep this on the side and see what all this is about. And these are some documents so it has the ipad magic keyboard some instructions how to use it this might come in handy for me uh, some product information and what is surprising for me is this one doesn't have any apple stickers this is the first apple product that i am getting that doesn't come with any apple stickers so uh, i don't really need them but some people uh, always want those stickers they keep on putting on stuff which is actually not apple but for me, that's okay. I'm not just into uh, the Apple stickers too much. I have a bunch of them lying around anyway. Uh, let's get to the Magic Keyboard. So as I said, uh, it is having a bit of a weight, but uh, that's expected of anything that's of a decent quality. The finish seems very nice. Uh, it's soft. And when I open it up, yes, it has kind of a spring to it. So uh, it's sturdy. And this is the hinge. So I'll just turn it around so that you can also see it. So the keyboards, uh, I haven't used it yet, but it seems it has nice feedback. This is a trackpad. And this is what attracted me to the Magic Keyboard because uh, this helps with all the gestures. If you want to control uh, things with your fingers on the keyboard. And then uh, I have read some reviews and also seen the uh, Apple uh, unveiling. And this is an attractive feature, which uh, I was looking forward to. And here you see there's a hinge. So if you fold it up, it's straight, but when you open it, it's uh, hinged from here so that it gives a floating design to the keyboard. And if you notice, there's a gap between the keys and this back portion. And why is that? I'll put on the Apple keyboard and you'll see it's kind of floating in here and the base would be around the top of the keys. So that's when they keep a gap here. And then the good thing about this keyboard is uh, for any product that Apple makes, they kind of create a seamless experience. So when we put the Apple uh, iPad on it, it would magnetically attach to it. So there's no awkward way wherein you have to uh, make it fit somehow into a particular frame. All you need to do is you need to put it on this and it will just stick on it. And also what it does is there's a charging port on the side here, uh, if you see. So if you are charging the keyboard, you are also charging your iPad. So you don't have to worry about multiple cables running into your iPad which might be the case if you go with any third party keyboards. So let's get to it. Uh, I have my iPad here with me. Uh, I'll unlock it and see. So I just turn it. And as you see, there are three magnetic uh, connectors here. And I showed you the magnetic connectors on the keyboard. So I just placed it on it. This is the feel that you're going to get once you put the iPad on the Magic Keyboard. Uh, other features, let me see. So what you do is you Put it down so it should put it to sleep 
and let me open it up and once I open it up it should automatically wake which it did and based on the face ID that I have it also unlocked it so let me see how it works I'll go to YouTube I already had something open let me search for something all all right a bit too quick all things Mohit Right away, here you see my review of the M1 iPad Pro. So, uh, first impressions, yes, it looks great. Uh, one thing that I immediately noticed, there is no escape key. So, if you're used to a MacBook experience, you want to escape out of something, you cannot. Uh, easy gestures with three fingers, yes, you can get to the home page. Uh, if you want to shuffle between apps, let me open a few apps like News and what else can I let me open the app store as well so once I do that if I have to shuffle between screens or apps I can easily easily do that with the gestures so that's also nice uh, one thing that this is lacking and uh, this is something that people have been asking for a long time uh, is function keys or easy shortcut keys and a lot of people were hoping when Apple does come out with the new magic keyboard it would have those function keys in there or the shortcut keys but it does not uh, I'm already liking this so I can uh, navigate through the smart widgets. If I want to look at all the widgets, I can just easily scroll. There's this pointer on the screen and I can use it to go to various applications just like you would do in the Mac OS. Uh, you can click on something, it would open up. So the experience is pretty similar to what you would expect of a computer or at least what people have been used of. So in case you don't want to use the trackpad, you can always use the touch screen. So I just navigate to wherever I want to. In this case, let me open notes. I want to create a new note and I just go ahead and say reviews. And this, uh, still getting used to the typing. This is my review of the magic keyboard. So yes, the typing experience is a bit different because I'm used to the broader magic keyboard that I uh, use with my MacBook whenever I dock it. So I would get uh, need to get used to this smaller interface or smaller keyboard. But the feedback from the keys is nice. I'm liking it initially. One thing that I was doing since yesterday in case I had to type an email or I had to respond something on iMessage, I was constantly uh, using this as a keyboard where I get a wider keyboard rather than using it in a portrait mode. So what that was doing was, uh, if you continue doing that, you can get neck pain. So that's when I think this magic keyboard would help me a lot because I do usually type a lot. So this interface would help me for my uh, pro users or those kind of users wherein I have to write emails or some content uh, so that it becomes easier for me to manage it. And whenever I have to just pick it off and take it away, I should be able to do it easily. And this is one feature that I actually like. I don't have to worry about, okay, I have to fit it into a particular uh, keyboard and then pair it and then figure out how it works. Sometimes the connection drops. Uh, Apple makes it simple. It just works. And this magic keyboard also doubles up as a case. You can just close it up and use it like this to carry it around. It has a snug fit, as you can see. Uh, some people were concerned whether this new magic keyboard would work with the old iPad old as in from last year or the magic keyboard from last year would work with the new iPad. Uh, Apple has clarified that they are backward compatible and forward compatible. Uh, the size of the new iPad is a bit bigger but that just means that you would not have a snug fit if you're using last year's magic keyboard but there are no other changes that would require you to upgrade from last year's magic keyboard to this year. But in case you are new in the market and you don't have a magic keyboard, you just have an iPad Pro, I would really recommend it. So hope you like this video and uh, you found it informative. In case you have any questions, comments or feedback, uh, please do add those in the comments link below. Do subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon for notifications. Again, this is Mohit and you're watching ATM All Things Mohit. Thank you.